All right, hello everybody. This is Demon coming back for uh, you guessed another round of Vicky Two. So we ended the previous episode on a little bit of a downside. Uh, we ended our war with uh, Chile, and we got nothing for it. Nothing, I say. Um, so I actually didn't get much out of it. So economy is flourishing at the moment. Um, red line, green lines, blue lines. We got all the lines. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do is start going through some more of this. Um, I'm going to rush for acceptable health care. I'd like the factory throughput to go up a little bit higher. Uh, Venezuela, I'm going to try to sphere. Uh, I, as I said before, I'd really like to gain more control over this region if possible. Um, I'm guessing Colombia is probably going to be where I'm leaning most of my offensives continuing on from this point. Uh, just because I know I can gain stuff from them. Uh, France, on the other hand, I know will not join... Britain is a possibility, but if I do any wars, I definitely am going to be calling the United States in. Reason being is I have a small concern, and I definitely would dare say that it's worth mentioning, is the fact that there is a good chance um, France could join, and I'd rather have the Americans on my side. Because I actually did, from the last run... Which is, we learned that if I call the AI in, stupid AI just go in and die. So I have my guess is that the U.S. will probably end up doing the same stuff where if France joins, if France invades them, they will die for it. Um, so I'm just going to keep playing the game as such. I didn't have a thing down here, did I? Deep defense system, infantry, up. All right, we're going to start jumping on further in the industrial base. Um, we can go to war with these guys. Anybody friendly towards them, Britain is and France is, so there's a small chance we can get them involved. Um, I'm going to acquire a state. 5.5. Uh, I think my goal for it is going to be Panama, Colombian Panama. Um that is kind of what I'm seeing. Well, actually, I might just want Balbao because that's where the uh, one thing gets built. Okay, we got Ned Infantry Division out. Theoretically, no. Okay, you guys are pushing up north. That's good enough for me. Um, what are we finally missing on? Luxury clothes to get the dragoons out. Okay, Sweden asks us to back them. I say bite my shiny metal ass. Do we have any other colonies that we're doing over here? No, the colonial game is finished. We're no longer caring. Um, where is the fleet? Oh, you guys are still building. We don't have any. Crap. Yeah, but I'm definitely going to be looking into this. So, 5.5. .5. When does this war goal officially come in? 150 days, so five months roughly. Five months, five months, five times. Well, at this point, we're getting closer to four months, four months. It's 0.6. Probably going to play a little bit of time on it, because what I'd like to do is secure both the Colombian Panama and Babao. Um, is anybody protecting you? Yes, Mexico is. I'll take my chances with Mexico. Oh, that's going to end it quicker. Okay, my army is, is up to date, ready to go, so I don't see anybody else being able to acquire me. So, let's go ahead and go here, go here. Um, I still haven't gotten the fleet done, so I can't even transport anybody. It's good to know. build it okay that stuff's good to go go for semi-automation uh, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a ballsy move oh I can't because I don't actually have control of that and eh, total election anyway since I'm already in there I was actually gonna get a little bit into a ballsy play and I was actually gonna go ahead and do a uh... you know what we'll go here is there anything I can encourage to get shipping industry down.
Because if I could just get a clipper convoy, I'm in the clear, baby. really good stuff but I'd rather have control of that At the very least I'd like control of that and when does this war goal officially end 6th of April what year 1895 I got time let's go for increase on that okay now let's sit there and say I wanted to do this. Not take Peru, but okay. So we'd have to own all that. That's not great. Either a puppet, or I have to have him under my full control. Limited citizenship. I want to play a little bit more in time because I want to get a little bit less. To just secure a few things. Because I actually, what I might take instead is I might take this region and then take Belbao. So that I can get steel steamers and iron, or I'd have to get steel, I think, to build Panama Canal. If I can build the Panama Canal, that gives me a route to get from west to east, which would be a lot nicer. Okay, we people want unemployment. I give you good health care. Okay, culture, do an experimental psychology jump, 5.5, we'll wait one more month, do the war, call the US and see if she joins, if she joins, we're in the clear, see look at these bastards, they're able to do that, I wasn't allowed to, dicks, want this, clear the war, America, you will join, all right, you two are gonna go in here. You're gonna push here. We have more capitalists or landowners. 190, we have more landowners, so there we go. Okay, they're gonna go there. I want you here then. You're pushing in there. I'd like to see you up here. I'd like to see you push here. Who's in this? UK. Oof, UK's got a big army on our border. Are they pushing in through Portugal? Damn, they are. How big, how good is our military strength? 14 of 30. I have 20, right? I do have 20. Some of my troops are stationed out here. We're deleting them. I can't protect them. I have an extra 30k stack. You guys are going to head up here. Can I build in actual... Yes. Good. I can build them. Build them there. I don't know where the hell they're attacking, but they're about to die. Hit them back. The U.S. on our side, I'm leaning towards a successful war. So we're going to grant war subsidies to the United States to keep them fighting. I'd like to call in Venezuela, but I don't see the point. And we have those reserves from last time, so we're good on that. Okay, they're going to attack us again. Head up here. Head down here. 
Head up here, head up here. Do this, stop them. Good. Try to wipe their army out first. See if we can be successful in this. Okay, it's gonna take them time. Head up here, push here. Okay, good chances that they are gonna hit those guys. I want you out of there. Oh no, that's where they pushed. God, I should have calling Venezuela. That's the goddamn question. Got better regular sec or uh, safety regulations. Okay, they're going north. I'm heading south. I'm gonna hit that six K stack. Okay, you guys are slightly more improved. Let's go for steel. You guys are going to head north up here. Okay, looks like they're following each other around. So what I actually might do... Okay, they're heading them here, hit here. You guys are going to push in up here. Okay, it looks like they might push into territory I'm about to secure, so that is to their disadvantage. Yeah, they're going to attack us. That should end that British army. Yes! Success! How is the rest of the front looking? Oh, crap, my navy. She will die. I'm sorry, my friends. They lived! They were successful. Okay, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Run the clerks. Okay, congrats everybody. You guys successfully have secured the territories we wanted. Alright, so that gets us to 18.83. What is theoretically the piece? 43. I can get another war goal in this. Plata, a bow region. It's going to add a little bit more. How much does that get us at? 56. Say I want to take one more territory from Colombia. Seventeen. That's doable. You guys are going to push in, secure the rest of that region. Um, you guys have access for British land, so start hammering them. Uh, we're going to push in where we can. You guys are going to head to Panama City. You guys can go to David because, you know, David's a cool guy. Uh, army down in the south. You guys are building up. There's no troops pushing in through the south. That's excellent for us. I don't see any portions of their fleet coming in, so I'm assuming a big portion of their military is hitting Africa, which I don't necessarily care about. Um, British are fighting the Americans, I'm funding them, but it looks like the U.S. is definitely having the better parts of the success, so chances are they're going to win. You guys can head over there, secure that, and if I can secure this last territory, theoretically, theoretically, nobody should want to go to war with me anymore. Britain does not have troops stationed here any further. And we are pushing in and securing what little territory they have here in South America. Old age security pensions, there you guys go. I'll make you guys happy. That's cheap steel. Go for the railroad system. Go two. Oh, they built troops there and died. Head up here. Okay, well, I seen something to look friendly. Okay, we are... Well, that did not say it was that high when I originally did it, so I'm probably going to gain a little bit less than I was hoping for. Okay, that's all of Colombia secured. That's Great Britain's territory secured. 
What is their army tech at? That's so weak. I mean, their navy's not as good as I had it at this stage. Like, I focused that navy, man, because I knew it was going to come in handy. Yeah, they're losing so much land up there. You want that piece? I said we secured a lot of land out of this. Uh, I think the victory lies with us. Um, Santa Ana. Yep, that's where that's at. You guys have any other troops that are low counted? No. We can build the new. Build them. Yeah, I mean, they can siege down all of Africa if they want. I really don't care. They've already lost access to... All the provinces I was able to secure. If you gave me a choice, I'd rather lose the Colombian Panama versus the other. So I'm probably going to be watching that to see. Okay, high seas battle fleet. Do that. Do that. I definitely want to keep uh, the one set of territory we had, which was, um, the, is it with Akatania, Antiochia, I don't know what it is. I want this because it has coal and iron. This good raw material. I won't get it in this one, but I will get it here. And if I can secure this, then I can build, uh, Panama Canal, and I'm a happy man. Nobody else can build it, because theoretically I have access to it. They still are not willing to accept. They're willing to accept any of this. They'd be willing to accept for a freaking white piece. That is not happening, man. Like, I've sieged your territory. You got nothing on me, bro. None, bro. I will put my troops up here and prepare for an invasion of your island of Trinidad, though. Push. What are you willing to give me? Crap of Val. And I don't get, unfortunately, Panama. That does disappoint me greatly. But that's three great war capitulations. That puts the British in a tight spot. And that opens them up to kills. Do it. Good. You guys are stationed up there. Um, I can just move through freaking... Which is amazing. I can move through Venezuela just to get over there now. Alright. You guys got desieged. Upgrade the ports. We have finances for it. Congratulations, homes. Um, what are we looking at? Maximum work hours. That's the one that's getting the most angry. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do unemployment. I think unemployment will probably be, yeah unemployment's doing it still too. That's good. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot I can upgrade you as well. Actually, to be honest, I'd rather build your fort up too. And then I have factories that got shut down as a result of the war. Actually, was there any in that other territory? Yes. Yes, there was. Excellent. And the rich are investing into the rail line, so I'll let them handle it. Uh, financially, we are doing great. I'm thinking of lowering the taxes on the middle class to kind of offset what we got out of them. We'll see what happens as a result of after the... Uh, whatchamacallit's the... Uh, there's a 
verb I'm looking for or a word. Um, capitulation. Capitulation gets done. Is there anybody protecting them? No. I could theoretically make them a puppet. Is the puppet less? No, puppet's ten. Either conquer them or do nothing with them. That is your decision. And I can't do anything against Chili. Hmm. Nah, no reasons to quarrel with you. That's why I said, between me and the Americans, we're pretty much on par with each other. They got 11.25. I have over a million more men than they do, but I also have African colony. So the African colonies are probably where my advantage lies in. Okay, I need nine new ships. Iron steamers. Anybody trying to get buddy buddy with them? Nope. Good, my prestige increases. My power grows. I was trying to figure out who I want to play, though, in Europe next. I, I was thinking of my personal opinion is Russia. Reason being, and it's a strong reason, one. I've tried Prussia, and I've tried Westphalia. Every time I do it, it ends in war. And I die. A.K. I've played as Westphalia. United some of the provinces, and then Austria came in and kicked my teeth in. Then, I played as Prussia, and I had a similar situation occur with Westphalia, where it kicked my teeth in. And it ended with my death. So I got very irritated and said, screw this, ever again. And that's how it has ended every single time I've been there. I have played Russia once, and this was on the other patch that I played uh, both UK and Japan on. And what I'm thinking of instead is play Russia. Now, Russia starts out in a war, and I'm pretty sure it's against Sweden. I'm going to piece the war out immediately because I'm not fighting it because it ain't worth my time. Because last time I did it, I fought a freaking war, and I had to go against Poland-Lithuania. and Or better yet, the Commonwealth. And what I'd like to do instead is play defensive, which is, I assume the East will be fine. I'm going to build a strong military, and I'm going to basically field an army that blocks off the entirety of the Western side, and then I'm going to go in and kill everything. <laughs> okay, we got low pensions, we'll go for the AI workday. Yes. Everybody gets holidays. Nice long holidays. Welcome. Okay, so that stuff's good. I'm thinking of adding forts up to this bitch, though. I want forts, baby. Forts up here. 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 We got them here. I'm actually, a smart move also would be to upgrade forts in this region as well. Again, my logic is... If I have forts out here, anybody tries to invade, they get to have hell on earth. Because again, you're invading Africa. The longer it takes, the longer you're sieging, the less likely it is that you're getting war score. And if you're not getting any war score, it's a bigger advantage to me to end a conflict quicker. Besides, I have the finances I can build into this now. Especially if you're in the Sahara, for God's sakes. Okay, I think for the most part we'll have pretty much all the forts being built. don't think there's any others. Uh, I want to reinforce our island of the Falklands. I want to ensure Buenos Aires is held. And I think we're good. Oh my god. Panam Panamanian nationalists. Wow, they're actually getting control. Oh, you guys can actually leave that. Nope, wait.
All right, go for fire control systems. I think they'll move around that. They did. Excellent. Congratulations, guys. You did an excellent job. All right. Well, that'll hurt them for a very long time. Not war with anybody. The USCA doesn't have any alliances either. The Americans are friendly with them. Oh, did all the ships build? Ah, excellent. Okay, we have another fleet. Um, well, I have a lot of troops that can get built in Africa, so let's focus the Africa core. Oh, that's why. I built a bunch of clippers because I'm stupid. Ah, I got exactly nine. That works out. I'm going to try to rush for fire control systems, because the more I build into this, it's minus 10 days for all those. And then army stuff, or mili military direction is almost immediately, because I want gas attack. If I get gas attack, if the U.S. or Mexico tries to go to war with me, I'm killing them. Uh, France, who are you war with? Uh, you're at war with the Ethiopians. Good luck, comrade. Actually, how big is their fleet at this stage of the game? It has to be rather on the large side. 60 ships. 64. Wow. Hey, my fleet... My fleet size is not that large in comparison to what it could be. Small arms and such. That'll be hard to get. Steamer, convoys. Yeah, we're having a tough time getting them. Probably because we're building so much in terms of naval stuff. And forts. Forts are definitely going to be an issue. Just don't have the production for it. Um, since my people are having a tough time, I'm doing this. There we go. I'm just going to fund it. I got money. Fund it. Oh, I want prestige. Screw them. Money, 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 money. I got so much money. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, Navy. Another thing of main armament. If I had some control over the... Uh, industry I probably would be pushing for a um, build into getting some of those out uh, what I mean to say is the uh, seamen and lumber uh, steamer convoys and get steamer ships out Russia wants an alliance Hey, I'm not going to say no. It's a good alliance. I have the US, Russia, and the French. It's pretty damn good. The Americas have a secret entente with the old country, aka La Plata does. And then as you guys build that up, I'd like to start getting a fleet out. Ah, good. You guys finished yours. South is good. Which also means that northern section should be fine as well. Over on in the west. Western, uh, where Peru's at. Yeah, you guys did finish excellent. Ah, did Panama gain independence? Excellent. Kill them. Before anybody gets influence here. Okay, what's everybody fighting for? Campaign for safe working conditions. Fine, I can do more safeties.
I keep wondering if I should even be funding this. I should just let the economy handle itself. Where the hell else are we still building our railroads at? It's Africa. A little bit over here. Okay, main armaments in. I'm thinking of holding for a year and pushing to get the army stuff in. AKA get military direction and go back to culture, get anti-rationalism, social alienation, mass politics. Yeah, I think we're gonna hold for a year. As much as I'd like to get an extra tech. Well. It's be nice to get the gold standard. Go ahead and do it for the gold standard. I think we can, yeah, we'll have it before the end of the year. That's fine by me. As long as I get it before the end of the year. U.S. is trying to get friendly with them, but it'll be too late. We have three months almost. Let's see, we're going to lose. And then this army will go in, capture all of Panama. I never have to care about this again. Okay, congratulations, guys. You guys got that successfully handled. Now it's Africa looking. Are they built? They are. Build here, build there, here, here, here. Good. Okay, you're still building up. Yours is still building. I'm assuming you guys down here are fours, right? Yeah, so you guys are actually almost done done. And with Panama built, we should be in the clear for quite some time. Oh my god, you guys actually might hear the ice cream truck. I have my window open right now. Hopefully you guys don't hear the fan too, because I, I I actually have my fan on because it's hot. I don't want to die in here. Okay, so we'll have it by the 8th of August. Good, we can hopefully get the gold standard in. Good, we conquest them. This. Nobody should join on their side because nobody's friendly with them. They are still a new country. Nobody should like them. says they're mobilizing. Are they insane? You have no people. Now, you have no nation. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Resiege, resiege. Hit over me up. Good. Registration. And peace. Ah, peace. Anybody friendly with you? The Americans are. I would like to secure the rest of your Panama. Our state. Our four, five. I'll see if the Americans will join on their side. I'm leaning towards the sides of the chances are probably slim to none that they will join. Now, reasons I'm thinking it is... One essential region reason I'm thinking it is U.S. probably won't join because we're allied. If they do, I will call in France. And as far as troops go, the Americans have no troops up here. I can actually see what's going on. By the time the war goal is done, I can get military directionism, have gas attack. If they do come over here, I'm going to curb stomp them because gas attack will give me a lot more bonuses. So even if I do have some terrain disadvantage because I go on the attack, they shouldn't be able to actually be too successful. Because my goal for this is to secure the rest of Panama. So I want Liberia, San Jose, and Lyman. And their army is rather on the weak side. I'm assuming also in terms of tech, it is also on the weak side. Am I right? 16 of 30, not very good. If I need to, in case of an emergency, I can just throw all my research into army tech after military directionism, so we'll see. If the U.S. does join, I will put more into army tech. If they don't join, I'm going all out. So I'd like to go for different techs. I don't just want to go for military. I want to get the advantage in other sectors. Because more mil or more industry tech would prove wonders. I also like to go for more economic stuff too, because uh, 
Investment banks for that boost of 5% would be terrific for my economy. Okay, so far so good, we'll see. Okay, old age security, acceptable pensions. You guys can head over here actually, I'd like to add you into the mix. And Fortwise, we're doing okay. They're starting to get stuff going. You guys are trying to get stuff up here done too. And to try to stop it from happening, the US is getting called in. Anybody else wants in on this war, they will die. Here and here. Does this give me gas attack if the other troops head in? Nope. Oh yeah, because I don't even have it researched theoretically yet. Anti-rationalism. Gas attack. Yes. Yes. Sacrifice your people into my wall. Gas them all. Send you reinforcements. You just not want peace. You would accept peace. 48 war score. Hmm. You got me thinking now. I could theoretically get Nicaragua. I mean, in terms of resources, not great, but in terms of hogging, in terms of getting new territory, great. Russia, who you all war with? Yeah, I'll join your war. Well, now I don't know if I want to end it yet. No, I wouldn't want those. I don't want Nicaragua. Forty-seven plus forty-seven. See, I said it said that last time. I got screwed. I'm just gonna accept the piece I got. That's good enough for me. I get more land. Here's me the rest of Panama. You guys can then head south. I'd like you guys all on that border with those little bastards. Head here. Head here. I'd like you guys to be down here just in case we need a block off troop. Eighth of October, 1905. So we have some time. I'd like to get the rest of Colombia. I'd like to hit Ecuador. I'd really like to hit Chile. That American Alliance, man, that is something. Yep. This an artillery gun. We're getting a lot of migrations. Yeah, we have Emmer. We have a little bit coming in. A lot of people are fleeing to uh coming in from Portugal. Well, I'm assuming as we get more and more land, and as I get access to more and more uh, social reforms, people probably will want here. I probably would jump down to proportional representation. It's probably where I'd push that for. We're getting pretty far along along that path, too. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Well, is there any party that is supporting uh, full citizenship that I can get behind. This Union Civica Radical is actually kind of hog. Free trade, which I promote. Interventionism, 
I don't like the secularized. But that intervention in terms of getting me liberal is pretty cool. I can't believe there's one that supports residency. That's like fair. I could go for socialism. Because all cultures could then vote. And that theoretically would cut back on military spending. What if my military spending went down to 60%? 740 versus... I would cut it back exponentially. And then I could start controlling the economy a bit better. Hmm. Kind of liking that. You know what? Let's push for it. I want full citizenship. I want all my cultures to vote because hopefully that means people will shut the hell up. We'll go for this last research and I'm going to end the episode. I think we might have went over on time again. No, I won't want to. Okay, got what we wanted there. I'm thinking... Thinking go mass culture. Reason being, and again, it, the solution is because it gives me more prestige. I'm the 8th greatest power. Right now we could be in a disadvantage and people catch up to me they do i'm kind of screwed so i want to kind of get that up kind of offset what we could be gaining slash losing in terms of uh prestige that'll hopefully give me some boost i'm without a navy i actually can't build my navy because i don't have steamer convoys um that's why i want to kind of promote socialism because state capitalism state capitalism means i can actually you know put what i want anywhere so it gives me more control over my economy um I think 1905, I said, is when we can hit Colombia again. I'd like to hit them. I really would like to go after Ecuador. The only problem is if I go for acquire state. Actually, no, I could go for acquire capital. That's a sevener. Um, I actually might do that because I could get control of actual Ecuador. And if they're at the Galapagos, ain't nobody going to go over there guard them. Nobody's friendly with them either. Yeah, I might do that. All right, so we'll let this jump down a little bit further. We'll try to get it down to about 17-something, and then we'll do our uh, capital war goal. Uh, we'll see if we can secure it. If I can get control more of this region, what I'd like to do is just kind of set up a buffer state zone, which is if the U.S. sends naval invasions, I have response troops. I'd probably fortify the hell out of this region and then start doing it. But I'd have to go socialist to increase the industry a little bit more. So with that, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, everybody. Moa Vicky 2 as La Plata. I'll see you then. Thanks.